bulk POD automation made ridiculously easy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create hundreds of print on demand products with about 10 seconds of work. Don't believe me? Watch this. Ready, go. Choose files, 167 images selected. I'm just gonna come down here, click create my products and we're good to go. And it's creating 167 products for me. That's pretty good. Pretty solid ROI right there, if I might say so myself. So this is a print on demand automation tool called the Bulk POD Product Creator. And it's basically a tool that allows you to automate the creation of your print on demand products. I've got a running operation in progress right now. It's creating all the products in the background for me automatically on autopilot. I'm gonna sort of talk through how this tool works, what it does, the different features and so forth. We'll take a look at some of the produced outputs so you can see what it's doing. Then later in the video, we'll go ahead and start fresh and set up some operations so you can see the different settings, how it works and so forth. And really by the end of this video, you should be able to automate the creation of your print on demand products with just a few quick, easy, simple button clicks. So the way this tool works is it basically just connects with your print on demand store and for each of the artwork images that you supply it with, it'll basically create a print on demand product for each each one of your artwork images. Really all you need to do is just supply it with an example product to use, which is sort of like a template or a role model to model. And that allows the tool to know, cool, he wants us to create Printify products where we're making posters, we're making this particular product, here are the particular variants he wants us to use, here are the price points he's using for the different variants. And once you supply it with the example product to use, it basically creates more of those products, except for each one of the images that you supply in this top section here. It also automatically upscales all of your images to high resolution and 300 DPI so that you're producing solid, high quality products. And on top of that, it can also stretch all of your images to automatically fit the print areas. So if you're using different aspect ratios or variants where the print area is a little different, cool, no problem. The tool will just resize each of your images so that it fits the respective print areas of your selected variants. Then down here in this final section, this is where it can actually use AI image recognition to generate highly accurate SEO optimized titles, descriptions, and tags for each of your created products. This is where the AI will actually analyze and evaluate each of your images, and then it creates unique descriptive titles and tags and all that stuff for the products. So it's a very useful automation tool that makes it very easy to just come in here, set up your operation, and automate the creation of all your required products. So this thing's been chugging along in the background. We're just gonna pop over to my Printify store and take a look at some of the created products and the outputs here, just so you can see the sort of results. So here it is, just sort of humming along. We'll pop a couple of these open and just take a look at uh, what it's doing here. Uh, different image styles and stuff, so you'll be able to see how the AI can really handle different artwork styles and you know understands the contents of the images, so it's very cool stuff. This first one here, this is what the AI came up with. Mindscape Eruption, Abstract Portrait with Colorful Swirls, Monochrome Silhouette with Vibrant Thought Explosion. Very accurate stuff. Uh, it's really good for SEO to have these terms in here. You know, if somebody's searching for a particular type Type of portrait that's abstract and colorful. They're looking for a poster wall art featuring that. Including rich descriptive keywords like this can help make it more likely that your product listings show up for those searches. And being able to just automate the process of creating all of your products with these descriptive outputs can really free up a ton of your time that you don't have to spend doing this work. And it basically just does all this work for you, completely automated on autopilot. Here we have the description that it generated. This striking abstract artwork combines a monochromatic profile with vibrant swirling colors emanating from the head. The image portrays a grayscale silhouette of a face and upper body juxtaposed against an explosion of dynamic fluid shapes and bold hues of orange, blue, red, and turquoise. Very accurate stuff. We'll look at this other one here. This is a different style of image. Cosmic Rider. Neon Astronaut Adventure. Surreal Space Motorcycle Journey. Once again, absolutely nailed it with its understanding of the contents of the image. Astronaut riding a motorcycle through a cosmic landscape blending science fiction and surrealism. White spacesuit, reflective helmet, images awash with neon colors, really good stuff. So we're back here on the Bulk POD Product Creator website. I'm gonna show you how to set up your operations, show you some of the different settings, and basically explain how to get operational so you can start automating the creation of your print-on-demand products. Step one, select your image files. That's pretty straightforward. You just click choose files. You can just come to your folder of artwork images, whatever it is, you can just select all. 
control A, whatever you want to do. And it'll basically just select the artwork images to use for the operation. So this tool will automatically upscale your images to high resolution and 300 DPI, which is good for Printify. You don't want to be selling low resolution, pixelated garbage images. So it'll automatically make sure that your images are high quality. Two options here, you can either stretch your images to fit the print areas, or if you want to retain your original image aspect ratios, you can select this option down here. For the products I'm creating, I'm making posters. So it's important to make sure that the full space gets filled because obviously you don't want to have a poster where there's like white space here you know if it was like this or something uh, that would be no good so with this feature it'll automatically resize your images so that it gets the print area size compares it against your image if it needs to resize it even if it's like a different aspect ratio here like this is 18 by 24 this is 16 by 24 cool no problem have that option selected and it'll resize your images to fill the full space so that there's no gaps or white space or anything step two select your example product this is basically where you connect this tool to your store and tell it what product you want to create so it knows what to do for the automated operation. So first we'll connect it to our Printify store. We'll just say connect another store, Printify API key. I already have that copied in my clipboard here, but if you want, you can follow this link to the connections page, or you can just go account connections. Either way, it takes you here. All you need to do is generate an API token. And what that allows is for other software tools to connect to your Printify store to perform whatever operations they need to. It'll give you a little text string. You can just copy it, paste it in here, and you should be good to go. Next, Printify store ID. This is where for the store that you want to create products for, you can just come to the orders page. And this little string here, this little number string, uh, you can just copy that paste it in and that supplies it with a store ID so it knows what store to do the operations for. Give it a name, you can just type whatever you want here so you know which store is which. Canvas Art Central is the name of mine. Connect my store and the store is successfully saved. That is terrific news. Next example product to use, this is where you basically tell this tool what product you want to use for the bulk product creation operation. So all you need to do on your print on demand store is just create sort of the ideal product that you want to create more of. So for this particular operation, I'm creating posters and I have this one here that I made earlier. So what this is, this is just the product that I want to make more of. All I did, I came into the catalog section, you know, I found the product I wanted to make, I selected the variants I want, I set the price points that I want for each of the variants, and all you need to do once you've made your ideal product, you just come here, copy this little number string, then you come select another product, paste your example product ID so it knows what product to use, then just give it a name, I'm gonna say wall posters 20 by 30, Example product successfully saved. Yippee, that is just lovely. So this is all good. Uh, now our tool knows what artwork images to create products for, and it knows, hey, this is the product he wants to make. These are the variants he wants us to use. Cool, the tool now knows what to do for the automated operation. All you have to do from here is just specify the rules for the titles, the descriptions, and the tags. And so if you come to this final section here, you'll see there's a section for titles, descriptions, and tags. This is where you can really save a ton of time on this process by using the generate using AI option for each one, because instead of coming in here and, you know, typing these descriptions yourself and, you know, I got to think of all the keywords and explain what's happening in the image. If you just toggle the generate using AI option, it'll just automatically do that for you. Because if I'm coming in here and I have to sit here and describe, you know, the galaxy, the sky, the valley, ugh, this artwork image features an astronomy scene with a spiral galaxy in the sky above a rocky mountain landscape. And the distance is a winding river, and the sky is a pinkish hue. I mean, this is some pretty boring stuff, you know, to sit here and type this out and think of what keywords you need to include and describe what's happening in the image. Describe the scene, the mood, you know, include the appropriate art terms and all that stuff for SEO purposes. It's really boring stuff. And even if you're a fast typer, if you're doing this for dozens or hundreds of products, it's going to take a ton of time. The full process of coming into your Printify store, you got to find the product, you got to come here, you got to find the correct one. Then you got to go here, you got to go start designing. 
you got to upload your images, you got to select the variants, you got to make sure the images fit correctly, you got to do all that stuff. Then you got to go to the next page, then you got to type all these inputs, and you got to type the description and the tags. It's a lot of boring manual work where if you're doing this individually for each product, it's probably going to take you like a solid 10 to 20 minutes per product. Using this automation tool, using the AI generated text inputs, quite literally, it's just a couple of quick setup steps, and then you can just automate this entire process. So we'll start with the title setup real fast. Uh, the default, if you want, you can just use the image file names in your folder here. Mine don't really have good names, so I'm going to use the AI generated inputs. You can do a simple title, which as it suggests, it's just a concise title for the artwork piece. Full moon landscape, abstract green portrait, bear giving thumbs up. You get the idea. The compound title, it's a little more advanced. It basically gives you the simple title at the front, plus some additional subtitle segments after that. So it might give you full moon landscape. And then after that, it'll say black and white photography, scenic night artwork, serene midnight landscape, dreamy nocturnal sky, you get the idea. This is good for SEO because it just helps to include some additional search terms that people might be typing. You know, if they're looking for a canvas wall art piece that includes black and white photography featuring a full moon landscape, you can imagine how including those terms makes it more likely that your particular listing will show up for those searches. So we're gonna do the compound title for our products. Uh, you can also include custom text for each product. So the AI generated part, that's gonna be specific to each of the images that you're creating products for, but then the custom text that you add, that's gonna be added to all of the products you create. So we're doing posters for this particular operation, so I'm just gonna add poster wall arts. Uh, again, terrific for SEO purposes, because if somebody's searching for a poster featuring a bear giving a thumbs up, then having all of that included in the title makes it more likely that my product will show up. If you want, you can flip this around and put your text at the front. Maybe you could just do like poster wall art and then the description, whatever tickles your fancy. For our particular workflow, we're gonna stick with our convention and do this at the end of the title. So that's good. That's gonna automatically generate that for us for each of our products. Description, same thing. We're just gonna use the generate using AI option. So we'll toggle that. That's just gonna create a paragraph that accurately describes the artwork image and if you want you can include custom HTML in each description so this is where you can include sort of the generic information about your product you can just come to the source code section copy the actual HTML and so this can include information about the paper quality what materials the item is made of sizes you know use indoors whatever sort of general product information applies to all of these products as a whole you can include that in there to provide that so here we have this little template that shows it'll be the AI generated paragraph here plus the custom HTML at the end. If you want, you can flip it around. We're gonna keep it at the end like that. And finally, product tags, you can use the generate using AI option. It'll just automatically analyze the image, populate it with appropriate tags, and just automate that process for you. Finally, down here, if you want to include tags for all of the products, again, this is where you can apply the generic ones like poster, wall prints, poster wall art, wall posters, poster art prints, and poster that should be good so these will get added to all of the products you create and then the ai inputs are obviously specific to each of the products you're creating that's really it the setup is pretty straightforward you just sort of you know specify what you want to do for the operation what images to use what product you want to create what rules you want to apply to the text inputs and at this point you can save the operation if you want for later reference so i'm just going to say wall posters 20 by 30 v1 I'm going to save my current operation. Operation successfully saved. Well, that's delightful. And what that allows you to do is instead of having to come here and, you know, set all this up and make sure it's correct each time, if it's the same products you're creating and you always want it to be done in the same way, you can just save the operation settings, come here to this drop down, select your operation, click load, and your operation settings will be populated inside of here and it's good to go from there basically. All you would have to do is just select your images, click create my products, and it'll automate this entire process for you. So quite literally, you come to this website, you say, hey, time for me to create 50 new products. Cool, load saved operation, choose my files, create my products, and it'll automate the creation of all your print on demand products. Hope you found this helpful. Make sure to drop a like and comment for some of that YouTube algorithmic engagement action. You can find a link to the bulk POD product creator in the description or comment section of this video. That's all I got for now. Thank you guys for watching and see you later.